So um, in this video, I wanted to go over something that's uh, super important. That's the latency of uh, Sweet CRM and how we can uh, improve it. This is going to be more of a high level overview because otherwise we may end up uh, with a, an hour plus long video, but I'm going to point you in the right direction. So for me, this was a big issue. Actually, in the beginning, when I was just starting out with the uh, Sweet CRM, this was almost a deal breaker. I was uh, almost not going to use the framework at all because personally, I found it to be uh, slow, but then I quickly realized that it's actually not the case. It's something that can be uh, fixed. And uh, as a test, you can also see that uh, personally, why I realized that it's not actually slow is by switching servers. So instead of using the remote server, as soon as I switched to the local machine, everything started uh, flying basically. And and that's something that's very obvious because hardware plays a major role here. Uh, but I'll give you an example when working with another major framework called uh, Magento. Even on the local machine, things run really, really slowly. And this is not the case with, with Sweet CRM, which is very snappy, sharp and quick on the local machine. So this is a list of suggestions. This is something that I assembled and it helped me speed things up. And we'll quickly go over them and then you can research them more in depth each one. So the first thing to try is uh, switching to Nginx with uh, PHP FPM. So this can uh, speed things up a lot. So uh, like an alternative fast CGI PHP implementation and it basically executes PHP differently and uh, uh, makes it work faster. So you may uh, notice like a, a big difference when using PHP FPM as opposed to the regular uh, fast CGI. You can turn off, uh, try testing, turning off Ajax. So in my case, this is something that I disabled because you have more, I find you have more granular control and it's easier for someone who's not as, as comfortable with uh, uh, JavaScript, let's say. Uh, another thing is to prune the database. So there are records that get, that remain in, in the system that are deleted. So. One thing to do is you can delete the records that are marked with the flag delete as one. So that indicates that the record has been deleted and it's just there in the database uh, just in case, let's say. So that's something that you can uh, uh, delete potentially, but just, I mean, it depends on your setup, right? If you want to be able to restore the records, then that's not something that you want to do. Another thing is to turn the lag, uh, the, the log level to debug load one of the slow screens and see if you can determine what step is slow. So what that means is that the default log level is uh, a little bit less verbose. It, just, it does not tell you everything, but it, when you set it to debug, it's going to tell you as much as possible. So by reading the logs, and that's something that you should be really comfortable with, you're going to discover uh, what operations are running and if there is like a specific query maybe that is being launched that is really slowing things down. So in that case, uh, you can add things like indexes to the table and uh, perform other, but in any case, just reading the log levels, uh, the logs when they're on the level debug may help you pinpoint where the slowness is coming from. And this is an, uh, like a screenshot from the forum that I took and the person shows here an example, basically. So he realized where the slowness is coming from and then he runs a regular cron job, I think, that, um, does, uh, uh, that cleans up the database. So there's more details. There is a, a link here that I'm going to leave here where we have links to the main books. So this is the quick primer by Jim. This is somewhere that you, where you can download it from. And this is the, the sugar developer guide uh, 6.5. So those are the ones that I mentioned in the, uh, uh, in this, in this section here. So we can see <clears throat> on page 101 of Jim's book and Jim's book being this one. I'll open it up just so you can see. So it's this section here, the performance tweaks. So this is something that you can, uh, you should read and it's gonna give you more details about what can be 
uh, optimized in terms of the uh, performance. So the next one is the section, uh, the page 121 of the Sugar Developer Guide. So let's actually see it also. And we can see it here. So this is disabling the VCR, what that option does and where it can be enabled. And then we have the dump slow queries log that's going to show you like what the slow queries are so you can uh, uh, optimize them, potentially optimize them. We have the uh, memcache settings, which is on the page 144 of the Sugar Developer Guide. We have the height sub panels, which is on page 152 of the Sh Sugar Developer Guide. And then another thing that's very useful is that when you have, for example, a before save hook, what happens is that when the person clicks save on the screen, it's going to perform whatever the before save hook has in it. So if it has a bunch of operations that need to take place when the person clicks save, it may significantly slow down the performance of your application. So one simple thing that you can do is actually not perform them right away, these actions with the before save hook. What you can do is schedule the job to run so they're performed a little bit later on. So depending on what the task is, you may be able to just wait a little bit, like a few minutes. And then uh, the way that you would do it is by following the guide on page 200 of the Sugar Developer Guide. So that's going to explain you how to do that. So if it's something that's super heavy, it needs to perform a whole bunch of updates in the system and then modify a whole bunch of different fields, just schedule it. So it's going to put it as a tasks, task that needs to be performed. And then a few minutes later, when the cron job runs, it's going to pick up the task and then it's going to perform it. So that's something that's super useful. I think there's like, I think you can even schedule it for a uh, one minute cron job uh, interval. So it's done within like one minute. The, um, the, like a super useful section also is on page 256. So of the sugar developer guide and it talks specifically about the improved performance. And if you're confused why it has the sugar CRM 6.5 guide is being mentioned here while we're talking about sweet CRM is because sweet CRM is like a, sort of like a fork of uh, sugar CRM 6.5. So uh, it, it's different, but in many respects, it's still the same, like a major part of the sugar CRM 6.5 code base is being used. So that's why it's a very useful guide that I highly recommend reading a few times. Another thing is increasing the PHP memory to uh, 512 megabytes. And to give you an example, if we compare performances of the different frameworks, this is uh, 512 megabytes here, the biggest open source e-commerce framework, MVC framework called Magento, asks you to put two gigabytes. <laughs> so that's like four times, uh, a little bit less than four times this amount, right? Uh, and another super useful guide here is by uh, a person named uh, Pedro. It's for the architecture. It's this link here, which I highly recommend reading. It's super useful information. And that's all I got. So if you have any more suggestions, maybe that you discovered yourself, please let me know in the comment section. Do subscribe. More of these will be coming. More of these videos will be made uh, in the future. So thank you so much for watching and have a great day.